Hey there and welcome to the Shoe Render Drawing channel on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to draw this skateboard. Uh, let's not talk about it, let's do it. Well I thought this was going to be easy and uh, this is now my third attempt. <laughs> and, okay what we want is to start off with the par parallelogram. I, I did this just the other day, uh, another channel on YouTube called Draw Stuff Real Easy but I haven't got time to do that anymore so I, I just kind of did that quickly on there and um, now you want to kind of take this box up there like that and then curve it around like that and this this wants a bit of a tilt on this end as well and then where these lines join and you need to kind of smooth them out and smooth that one out as well there so this will now come around there like that and then you're going to have a kind of a thickness to the board as well, uh, which I think will take around something like that. Okay, I'm going to ink that board in and see how it looks. Um, yeah, so I've got a big project on at the moment, so I just haven't got time to run two uh, two channels at the moment. So. Um, so I'm not going to delete draw stuff real easy, but. I'm not doing any videos on there for the moment. I might, you never know, I might come back to it. Uh, we do the thickness of the board here. Um, so I did that just really very quickly and I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll do a bit of a more detailed one on here. And of course, when it comes to doing the wheels, then I, oh, I just can't kind of seem to get the shading right. So hopefully I'll get it right this time. Okay, these are the trucks kind of underneath and you're going to have the the axles going through there and you can have a wheel there and it's kind of coming through like that and uh, so I suppose these are quite chunky wheels I'm giving it which are the kind of wheels that used to be around <laughs> in the days when I was skateboarding and I know you can still get chunky wheels and, uh, but I think people use slightly Slightly thinner wheels these days. Right, you want a line inside, and then kind of a circle there, which is kind of the, the bolt that holds it on. And then you're going to see a bit of the other wheel in line like that. And I think people use much thinner wheels generally now. I'm, I don't know. Somebody will make a comment and tell me about wheels. And um, let me just go around. So kind of go all the way around the cylinder of the wheel there. So I'm just doing this because it kind of makes it easier to, to draw when they're fatter like that. And I'm not kind of, I'm just kind of drawing a kind of a hint of the, the kind of the edge of the wheel there. And then you want that, that's kind of the nut that holds the wheel on like that. So it's kind of going in on itself here, the, uh, the, um, the wheel. And we'll put a bit of shading in like that. And we want to see a bit of the axle there and a bit of the other wheel just going inside like that. And this is where I found I couldn't quite decide how to do the shading. So, so I decided to do a little bit, to do it like that really. And then I think that kind of works. It's Otherwise it just gets really messy if you start cross hatching it. Um, and I think you want to put that there right and then a bit of shading around like that I'm, I'm, I myself when I start cross hatching I start getting a bit carried away and uh, I'm having to try to teach myself not to get quite so carried away because it's Cross hatching, you can get really, really messy very, very quickly. So that's a bit of uh, shading behind it. Um, I'll give it some kind of a, I don't know. Let's have the, let's have the world and some kind of flames. Something coming off there. I don't know. Um, I think I would not get top marks for my deck design here just 
knocking something out very quickly just to uh, give it a kind of a, a feel but you have all the time in the world to do a fantastic deck design so I, I don't know that's just something silly um, we can erase it, how are you doing? Well, it's, that's pretty good actually we can erase all of that get the pencil out of the way and I think we just need a kind of a hint of this tilting up here and I think you can probably do that with a bit of kind of shading just going along the line like that and I think that kind of does it really you might want to put a little bit of kind of hint of motion or something like that there and there you go how to draw a skateboard and uh, if you enjoyed that keep coming back to the shoe rainer drawing channel on youtube and uh, in the meantime keep drawing keep skating um, <laughs> hang high hang low high five or whatever <laughs> and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye